are you dimming yourself for others right are you playing small are you playing a small part when you should be playing a big part a big part because of other people like she said if you're 79 watts but you should be 159 watts and it's too bright for other people let them wear shades but never make yourself small for somebody else can feel big all right because if they cannot handle you then they need to either move out the way right or if they can't handle it they either need to move out the way or freaking just get to that brightness as well right because people people are depending on you people are looking up to you people are inspired by you but they're but they watch you, right? Because you need to love yourself. You need to like yourself so other people also can know how to like and love you, right? You shouldn't, like she said, right? <laughs> people do posts on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter for the likes, for the clout, right? But are you loving yourself? Are you patting yourself on the back? Are you liking the things that you're doing outside of what people are watching? Right. So I want you to take note of that. And one thing that she does that I that I want to explain to you is that she always asks questions. Right. So me, Chris, we say this repeatedly every week. Right. That and Rob from Robert Kiyosaki is that statements closes the mind, questions open the mind. She always asks questions throughout her speech on on how she got to that next level, right? How can I? How should I? What do I need to do too, right? So make sure you are asking yourself these same questions and not being a victim to your circumstances. And that's what I loved about her. Like she was saying like, oh, because I'm, because I'm black, right? Or because I'm a female, because I live on government assistance, right? She didn't let her circumstances determine where she wanted to go, right? Because I want you to understand, before I get to the text, I want you to understand and put in your head right now that you are a victor and not a victim. I know you had heard it plenty of times, but now I need you to start saying it to yourself that you are victorious. Right, your situation right now may not seem like it. Your circumstances you may not, I mean, you may be going through right now may not seem like you're going to be victorious, but I'm telling you, you are. Right. And and one thing, well, sorry, before the text again, one thing that I want to point out that she said is that she went 10 years of being judged being victimized, being cursed out, being a uh, negative saying to her for 10 years, 10 years, right? And some people have a microwave mentality that it must happen right away, or I must get through this right away. She went through it for 10 years, and now she's a multimillionaire, right? She's a one percenter, but her background just like me, I'll take me for example, right? Used to be on uh, government assistance, used to play that victim role because I was black, because I was from New York, right? That, you know, there wasn't an out for me. But when I started getting mentored and coaching, learning, getting into this motivation and inspiration stuff, then I learned that there was a way out. And sometimes that way out was from removing myself from the environment that I was in because the people around me wasn't speaking life into me. So I had to get around other people. I had to travel outside of New York just to know, hey, there is a way out. Because one thing she did say is that convenience and conviction does not live on that same street, right? So. When you're convicted about a goal you want, you will be inconvenienced. That, that is 100%. You will be inconvenienced. But you have to push through that. You have to push through that fear. You have to push through that you know you're going to reach that goal no matter what.
But so, so, so with that being said, guys, let me get to the text of Lisa Nichols. Like I said, from a female, Keith is going. But now just to get to some of the text, right, to support what Lisa Nichols was saying. Remember, guys, she has 11, 10, 11, 12, somewhere between there. 12 books, all bestsellers, right? So one book that I want to reference from for you is, and this is how I wrote it. These steps from these steps form the foundation of Lisa Nichols' approach to personal development and transformation from her book, No Matter What, Nine Steps to Living the Life You Love. Right. And this outlines the path to personal transformation and empowerment. So I chose this book because I read this book so long ago. It's probably like 10 years old ish, maybe a little bit more. And I I felt like it was aligned to what she was saying now, but these are some of the things I want to instill in you to become the better self. And we talk about this all the time throughout the week. So hopefully it's starting to be ingrained in you and you're at least taking one thing, one thing, if not all, right, at a time and start picking it up and really not just thinking about it, but also putting it into action. So the first thing from this book, it, from Lisa Nichols is one, take control, acknowledge that you have the power to change your life and accept full responsibility for your choices. All right, I'm gonna read this because this is one of the biggest ones, at least to me, but for a lot of people that, you know, Chris and I and the team coaches, for a lot of people we work with or meet, right, is to take control. Acknowledge that you have the power to change your life and accept full responsibility for your choices because a lot of people are full of excuses. But we have to push them excuses aside and know that we can get over that. And I'm not saying that it's easy or I'm not saying it's going to take a day or two, but you can get over that. Second thing is be unwilling to settle, right? Be unwilling to settle. Refuse to settle for mediocrity and commit to pursuing your dreams and desires. Number three, live your life from a place of authenticity. Embrace your true self and be genuine in your actions and decisions. Number four, feel the feeling. You allow yourself to experience, allow yourself to experience and process your emotions, both positive and, ne and negative. So this is very important, guys. And I expand upon this is that as we're going through whatever we're going through during the day, we have all these emotions at different times and different points. And I need you to acknowledge those emotions and also know why you're feeling that because I know a lot of us make decisions or a lot of us take actions because of our emotions and sometimes we need to ignore how we're feeling to still conduct our actions or or make better decisions right small thing I haven't read it personally right so I'm not gonna lie but a, a book I was told to read was uh Emotionally intelligence or emotional IQ 2.0, right? Because in business, in life, in making decisions or getting to our goal, emotions play a big part. Number five, speak your truth. Communicate honestly and openly with yourself and with others. The biggest thing is to yourself, right? We have to stop lying to ourselves. But then also we have to communicate to others. Number six, set and honor boundaries. Establish healthy boundaries to protect your well-being and maintain balance in your life. Number seven, forgive, release, and be free. Let go of past grudges and resentments to find inner peace and freedom. Number eight, love no matter what. Cultivate love and compassion for yourself and others, even in difficult circumstances. And number nine, stay committed, stay to, 
says, sorry, stay determined and preserve in your in your pursuit of a life you love, regardless of the obstacles. So those are the nine things, ladies and gentlemen, just want you to get better. I want you to take control of your life. I want you to achieve your grow, your goal. I want you to make your thumbprint on this world that people won't forget. And I want you to build some, something that will outlast you, even when you go. I want people to still be talking about it. I want your family to make sure that they still thanking you for you for leaving that legacy, whether, whether the legacy is breaking generational curses, whether the legacy is leaving them a home, whether the legacy is making a lot of money so your family don't uh, struggle in poverty. Whatever that is for you, I want you to achieve it. I want you to uh, <laughs> I want you to build that book. I want you to build that house. Like whatever it is, I want you to go out and get it. Because again, you are a victor, not a victim. I see you on Wednesday and Friday at 9.30 a.m., ladies. Um, have a nice day and keep it going and stay positive. Have a nice day.